What's up, y'all? This is Desmond, and this is going to be a short video taking a look at the Steam version of Shooting Game Builder, and it just came out recently, and um, what I've been doing is I've been just kind of poking around and seeing what is uh, new, and it looks like one of the biggest and newest features is um, Steam uh, integration with leaderboards and uh, rankings or, or I should say online score leaderboards and why don't we open up game setting right here press F8 and we go over here to Steam and over here we got a new option new tab for uh, some achievements and uh, leaderboards so it looks like over here let, let's start with achievements so you can um, a number of achievements you can have over a hundred and uh, you list them over here. I'm not sure um, if like how you can exactly name them to be something specific, maybe API name or something. They can be um, kind of, uh, you know, named specifically or something like that. Um, and if you don't know how achievement works in Steam, basically um, you get an achievement if you like do something in a game or whatever and then it will say you've you know done this achievement you've played the game 10 times 30 times you've beaten the game you've done this you opened this up etc etc and it looks like you can do that now in shooting game builder and it looks like the way to i would say trigger that is with um variables and why don't we open up a script close this out and we'll get to um leaderboards in a second why don't we open up a script and let's go to wait let's is it in here oh here, yeah this is it right here so this is a uh, select menu and it looks like we have a function uh, for a menu for the um, the character select when we run it through and this is on mute right now just FYI so yeah this is it right here and it looks like um there was like a you know a uh, achievement if you just like start this menu or something like that and also um this game g scramble it's it's also standalone as well on steam for free which is uh pretty cool but uh yeah let's close this up so yeah it looks like there is a variable and oh yeah i, I i'm gonna need to like go over variables in a future video so if you've seen all this and it looks kind of confusing don't worry about it. I will get into it in a future video. It's going to be a pretty in-depth video because I'm still kind of learning about variables. But stay tuned for that. But yeah, it looks like what's going on is that there is a, um, a value going to the player type. And this is uh, the variable 0, variable 1. And then when uh, the variables uh, values are equal to variable 0... When it goes to the right, you get an achievement, and it says, uh, you know, you unlocked uh, zero one or whatever, and uh, variable one gets brought over here and list number one, and it looks like it's the same if you maybe don't do it. I'm not sure, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, it right there. And I, I, yeah, I believe that's how you you do the achievements in this particular way and the thing is what, what I have to kind of um, understand and remember is that and, and why don't we open this up again press F8 go to Steam and um, app a uh, what was it app ID the thing is is that f for all this you need to release your game on Steam okay which is fine but I think a lot of people, well, maybe half and half, usually want to make free games. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know the whole like process with like getting a game on Steam, even if it's for free. But overall, this is still pretty good for people that want to like, you know, do it. But the thing is, is that, um, yeah, it's just on Steam. It's not online leaderboards outside of Steam at all. And also the um, online leaderboard, it is um, it is through the Steam um, like 
online boards itself is not through the rank. Like for example, let me, let's go to run and let's press was it ranking? Yeah. This it isn't like this. This is just a local ranking board. Okay. It isn't like um it, you know, it's yeah, it's just this is a local ranking board, but it's outside of Steam. And let me see if I can show it to y'all real quick. So we're gonna open up Steam. Where is um where's G Scramble the game? G Scramble. Here we go right here. And okay, bear with me one second. Let me see if I can find leaderboards. Where where are our leaderboards? So all right, so we have achievements. Alright, view my achievements over here. So it looks like, like we have the achievements leaderboards global leaderboards over here oh okay here it is so this is how it works this is how it is this is how the leaderboards are is that it sends to this global le leaderboard right here and we have the different types which means the different ships and oh yeah here's another thing that's new um if you press a or a certain button <laughs> you know in the the demo you can have different uh, types of ships. So it's a type A, type B, and they all have their own replay, their own leaderboard. And you can get that ready to go and set that in right here. Number of leaderboards players, two. You have two ships and list zero, list one. See, type a type B so yeah that's pretty cool too let's go back to the leaderboard and yeah these are players that have played um, the G scramble game type B hit show here we go right here and oh my god a lot of people have been playing looks like I got knocked off Where was, see here's I am right here Wow I was actually number three and wow look at these scores people are getting this is <laughs> this is absolutely uh, crazy, <laughs> but um, but yeah, that that's how it works. That's how the online leaderboards work, and the, and uh, test setting. Uh, this is something I haven't uh, messed with yet at all. This yeah, for me to really test this, I would need to like have some sort of like Steam like creator account or something like that. Maybe I should try that and and just to see the process and what I really need to do and for I can like really really test this out um, oh something interesting I kind of saw in boss let's see we're in the boss body of the um, the enemies uh, script so this is the boss right here when you fight the boss at the end I'm gonna go to on destroy okay here we go this is another achievement so we have an achievement variable 20 okay goes to score and stats right here this is the for the leaderboard right here goes there list three and list four Ooh, I'm trying to think where where do those go to? Oh, variable achievement. Okay, okay. So if we open up this again, three and four. Oh, got it. Okay, okay. I see now. Three and four. So I believe yeah, it goes to the stats. Now the thing is is that um when I'm a little confused by all right, when we go to variable, there's a ranking variable list index and you can set it to whatever index so i I'm, I'm i don't know how this works right now to be fair i do not know how it works but overall yeah that's the the biggest thing that's uh different now with uh scg builder is again steam integration achievements and online leaderboards and yeah this is good this is really really good um I know a lot of creators that have made um, a lot of games through STG Builder in the past. I know they're going to want to upgrade and then put.
put their games on Steam now for we can have the online leaderboards and the achievements for more people to play their games. But um yeah, overall this is um this this is good. This is like pretty pretty good so far. But yeah, I'm yeah, maybe I need to like I said, I'm I'm going to need to open up some sort of Steam um creator account or something cuz yeah, I really would like to test out these online uh leaderboards and maybe even upgrade some of the games that I have created that I have on itch <laughs> and see if I can like, you know, have like the online leaderboards with them and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's actually pr pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think so far of the upgrade and if there's anything you want to know or that you'll like to learn together in a video. And yeah, that's, uh, that's really about it for now. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Peace.